October 1st is here, fall is here, you're here, I'm here. It's a great day to decorate for fall. I'm actually really excited because I've never decorated for fall like ever, not growing up, not in my last house. So this is like new house, new vibes, fall decoration time. <laughs> I really want to get like that cozy, warm vibe going around the house. I love seeing other people's um, cozy homes and I want that for myself. Right now it's just like a lot of explosion of stuff everywhere. Check it out the baby. Explosion of like colors and stuff everywhere. So I want to try to like calm, calm it down around here. And I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to achieve that with a crawling slash almost walking baby. But we're going to try and obviously decorations are going to have to be off the floor out of reach for the baby. So that may limit some floor decor and stuff like that. But we will let's just see. I know I've said this before but this is like my second year ever living with um, actual seasons so now that i'm starting to get into the whole seasonal thing like winter fall so i'm really excited to like decorate so if you want to you can come and join me and shop and decorate to get in the fall spirit i decided to order a iced apple oatmeal no oat milk macchiato <laughs> i've never had any fall drinks ever in my life so this is my first one and so far i mean it looks good it looks like a cold brew type of thing so i'm gonna give it a little mix all right taste test it's not bad but it's not really like up my alley like it has some cinnamon I mean, I taste the apple. I didn't know there was cinnamon in here. I am not a fan of cinnamon, so it's all right. I mean, mm, for my first like fall drink, I'll give it like a three out of five. So I probably won't finish it, but I can I can sip on it. And then of course I just have to get a little cake pop because. Okay, so after further evaluation, I cannot drink this drink. I tried again after I got back from the store, and I just, I can't do the cinnamon. It's just not for me. It's, it went from like a three to like a one. And exactly. And also, I kind of felt like Hobby Lobby didn't really have a lot of fall stuff. Uh, they had a few aisles, but to be honest with you, a lot of it was just Christmas stuff already. So... I mean, at least we can start decorating for Christmas early, but um, yeah, I only got a couple things. And then I do have to go by, um, I do have to pass by Target anyway, so I think I'm gonna check out some fall stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna check out some fall stuff over there and see what they have. Mm, I don't think so. Also, does anybody remember these world's finest chocolate that we used to have to sell in school to earn prizes and stuff like that? Um, apparently, they came while I was gone, and my husband got like five or six. <laughs> so I already tried the milk chocolate with crisp rice, and it's it's good. But tell me if I'm imagining this, but I remember these being a lot thicker. Like, these are pretty thin. I remember them being like a little bigger. So they're still a dollar, so it's fine, but... I feel like I'm getting scammed. But chocolate's chocolate. And it's still good. I wouldn't call it the world's finest, but it's good. Okay, so it's actually been a few days since I went ahead and bought everything. Um, you know, life just got busy, but I'll show you some things I got. So I bought these little leaves off of Hobby Lobby to like Kind of give the fall vibe indoors so <laughs> um i think i'm gonna put this over the staircase because like that entryway slash stairs it's just so plain because i haven't bought an entrance table thing because i used to have one but with a baby now she's just starting to like climb on things so i just don't want to like buy it even though it's be perfect for decor it's just not worth it right now so i think i'm gonna put this on the staircase got some tiny pumpkins i think i'm gonna put it on the island I have an idea for the island. I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. And yeah, let's get to it. 
I started off trying to decorate the entry staircase with the Hobby Lobby leaves. I started doing a loop-de-loop -loop design, but something about it looked weird and I just couldn't figure it out. So I scratched that and then tried to put it straight across, but I feel like it looked even weirder. I feel like I'm kind of lost. I don't like the loopy loopies. I don't like the straight line going on. I want it at the stairway because I feel like, you know, obviously it's where we come in. So it's gonna be like, I want the cozy fall vibes, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it's not like cutesy. So. <laughs> and I ended up going with the loopy loop design because second time around, I actually liked how it looked and it came out pretty good. When I was in Hobby Lobby, I, I mean, I cook, but I haven't cooked that much since I had the baby. <laughs> but I saw this cute apron and I was like, oh, it's fall. Like, I've never owned an apron ever in my life. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It has like all the fall colors. I look like such a housewife. I mean, like, look at this. See, you can tie the back. I can be cutesy making a little dessert for Thanksgiving. It has pockets like here so I can put my little spatulas, you know? Ah, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna start using it when I cook. It's a little long here though. I'm not sure if that's how it is. Oh no, you can tie a knot. See, this is like how you can tell I've never had an apron. <laughs> I just feel so girly. Now, time to decorate the island. First, I needed to make sure it was clean and clear of any clutter. I finally put away my sterilizer after 10 months since I feel I haven't really been using it anymore for baby stuff and I didn't realize how cluttered it was making everything look and it feels just so much better this way. Okay, so for the island, I decided to go with a cute, simple wooden round plate with decorations on it. The plate and caramel pumpkin are from Target. I bought three of these stick thingies from Hobby Lobby and just played around the pumpkin to see what looked best. The sign is also from Hobby Lobby and it added the perfect little touch to the plate. I almost forgot to add a candle in the mix and slightly adjusted everything to make it perfectly fit. This was the final outcome and it adds the perfect cozy touch to the island counter without making it feel cluttered. And I almost forgot about these little pumpkin candles I got from Hobby Lobby. They are just so cute and I added it to the staircase for an extra little touch. I obviously do not light these up as I have two cats, an almost toddler, and I am just a clumsy person overall. House on fire are not the fall vibes. But I love how it turned out in this staircase. I feel like it added what was missing to it. To mix things up in the bathroom, I got this little basket and I bought this blood orange and cinnamon smell thingies from Walmart and OMG do they smell amazing. It is such a light but noticeable smell and I think it can go anywhere in the home. I just rearranged the pieces to where I thought it looked good and then just put it on my bathroom counter. For the final touch, I added this cream colored woven blanket to my couch for those cozy late night movie nights. Perfect for snuggling and adding a pop to the couch. I already had this one I bought from Ikea a while back, so I decided to bring it out and give it a little color to the couch. We ended the night with some warm pizza, binge watched some Love Island UK episodes, and ended up snuggling with the blanket. I hope you guys enjoyed this Decorate With Me, and I hope to see you guys soon.